is what? It is uh, the Bishop's Round, round Table. table. We're so, kicking it off yes, tonight. tonight. All right. So look, put some clap hands on the screen. Yes, I want you to hearts. just, oh, come on. We want the energy brewing on social like media. Like it up. So how do you do this? Share it. Yes. Share it right now. Like it. Comment. Let us know that you're here. We got we got a team that's watching the comments. They want to yeah. interact with you tonight. We tonight. launched the Bishop's Roundtable. And some people are like, "What in the world is that?" Well, the Bishop's Roundtable. It is an exclusive group of people mm. that get to hear from Bishop Don W. Shelby things just about life. About and life. About, listen, and you know what? It makes me think about it. I'm just I'm, I'm kind of just making turning the corner right now already. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think about my own career. I just got an award yesterday, a, a real estate award, you know, top in the quarter or whatever, da 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 da. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. uh, but <laughs> I think about all the time, whenever I'm doing a negotiation, I kid you not, Elder Don, I think about my bishop. I would think, like, how would he negotiate this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he taught me one thing before. He said, you know, when you're negotiating, the person that speaks first, usually use, loses the That's negotiation. Right. <laughs> so I think about how he would negotiate, and I think that even in this crazy market, it has helped me to be successful in what I do because I refer back to those things that he said. He's taught me never go to war when there's no spoil. See, and you know, you, you, you've you yeah. been brought in close. Yeah. And now we have an opportunity to yes. bring others in close. This is what I'm saying. Come on, this is the Take heart of our man of God, That's Bishop right. Don W. Shelby. Now, you know, he is a preacher's preacher. Absolutely. Okay, he is the world's greatest pastor. Absolutely. He is top class bishop. Absolutely. He is a businessman. He is a wonderful father, a wonderful husband. So much, so much that he could teach, and we can glean. And you know, as a young, I'm, you know, I'm still a young man. I'm yeah. almost middle aged. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm still a young woman. You know, so yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. always gonna be young. Well, yeah, I'm not middle aged. But, 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 go ahead. <laughs> but, but you know, what's important to me yeah. is impartation. Absolutely, that is so important. Absolutely. And the bishops' roundtable is an opportunity for impartation. Paul said it like this, you know what, impartation actually is a part of being established. Yes. He wanted to impart spiritual gifts so that we may be established in this as a, I'm telling you, I'm coming up, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling hopeful, I'm optimistic, I got dreams, visions, I got yeah. plans, but I need spiritual impartation. Yes. I need to learn, I need to hear wisdom. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And the Bishop's Roundtable is just that. Absolutely, you're gonna hear information that's gonna be pertinent to you. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, you feel like you can't get past a certain uh, place or you know that you, you have your hands on success, but you need like guidance. Yeah. Well, Bishop, he's he's a bishop now, but he hasn't always been a bishop. No, no. So what if you have questions about ministry? You're a young minister. You have questions about how to, uh, how your ministry, make it grow. Or you're a young uh, husband, yeah. how to make that family work, how to make your children, bring your children up in this crazy day, how to keep your children connected to God. Absolutely. So many different questions. How, how, to, how to launch a business. How to launch a business, because he you, is a business man business first. Man. You better believe so it. So entrepreneurs, yes. I mean business. Yes. career men and, and be women successful. and be successful and hold it all hold your family together because many people think together. you got to give up one you got to up get one the other up. oh yeah but what did he preach yeah. you can have this and that and that and that. that's the bishop's round table y'all i'm telling you i'm telling absolutely. you absolutely so you don't want to uh miss the opportunity to be a part of this exclusive group because you know he can only go so many so we don't know how far it's going to go or how open it's going to be or for how long so you want to make sure that you're doing what you need to do to become a part of this exclusive group as soon as you can we got some amazing things that we're going to be talking about tonight and there's going to be so much information shared on this evening so we don't want you to go anywhere we want you to turn it up keep it locked in your car put you know hit yes. the hearts tell your cousin tell your sister tell Come your on. friend tell your mother don't tell your swipe father, don't scroll uh -uh. tell your boy Stay friend, right here. tell yeah. your girlfriend listen let's get on because the bishop is talking tonight and he's sharing tonight but we get ready i guess to go into um we do have a uh, trailer. Trailer. Commercial break. I'm this is a top notch production. We ain't Absolutely. playing with this thing, y'all. The Bishop's Round Table, you got to see this tonight. You got to. Share it. T text somebody the link. Join in. Learn about this Bishop's Round Table. Yeah. You want to join it. So we, we got do. a commercial we're about to break to right now. Let's go. Devoted, committed, passionate, and dedicated. Just a few words to describe the quintessential leader, Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. That all things work together for the good. Bishop Shelby is a renaissance man, a forerunner, 
trailblazer, and trendsetter in his own right. As an apostle of Jesus Christ, he is undoubtedly one that has been sent on a mission by God to pave the way, a doting husband. In your opinion, what's the biggest mistake that most people make before they say, I do? Mm -hmm. I think before you get married, you ought to put everything mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. And so it's best to let everything out before you say, I do. And if they can marry you with all of your garbage, mm -hmm. then it's, it's going to be okay. Right. A loyal father, a leader's leader, and a preacher's preacher. Bishop Shelby serves as an inspiration to countless lives around the world. Somebody shout first. As a national figure, he is without question a man for all seasons. Consecrated to the office of the bishop in 2016, Bishop Shelby serves as the jurisdictional prelate of the Michigan Southwest Fifth Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ. As a mock father in the faith, Bishop Shelby nurtures, trains, and mentors countless spiritual sons and daughters globally. Known for a ministry of power and deliverance, Bishop Shelby's life has been marked with signs, wonders, and miracles. And I'm here to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, I don't care how dark it is, the Lord is with you. And I don't care what you are facing, the Lord is with you. I don't care what is, what is coming up against you, the Lord is with you. Ha, but God is God. Ha, he can bless who He want to bless. Ha, he can use ha, who He want to use. Ha. As a man of faith, his eyes are steady set on building the future. He's unquestionably a supernatural preacher. The rhetorical proverb asked, But a faithful man who can find? To this, there's a resounding answer. Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. is that My man. Soul cries out, Hallelujah. Be sure to follow Bishop Shelby on all social media platforms. For more information, visit us online today at bishopshelby.com. All right, welcome back, welcome back. We are live at the launch of the Bishop's Roundtable. Well, hey, you know who it is. We want to introduce to you yes. the man of the hour, all right? Yes. Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. and my mama, the lovely First Lady Benita A. Shelby. We got a live audience here, we're doing it big. Can y'all help me welcome them? All right. So, so Dad, how are you feeling tonight? Man, I'm excited. I'm absolutely excited. Um, this here is, is a dream come true. Um, I, I am excited about what God is doing uh, in this particular space right here. And I want to invite everybody to be a part of this space. Um, I thank God for um, all of my family that's here tonight. I thank God for our church members that are here tonight. And I thank God for my friends that are here tonight. And I thank God for you who are watching tonight um, to be a part of this great launch. It is going to be absolutely amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> and we want to hear from this beautiful lady. Uh, I mean, you know, you can't have, you know, it's the dynamic duo. You know, it's, it's Wonder Woman and Superman. It's, uh, it's, it's all of those things. Our bishop, uh, you know, he's, he couldn't be the man that he is without our first lady. My mom used to say something that, you know, the man is the head, but the woman is the neck on which the man's head turns. Oh, Come right. on. So Come she's on. the neck. On which <laughs> and, so and, she's she the is, and she's a mighty good neck. <laughs> yes. A mighty good neck. So why don't you say something? Just greet everybody. Well, say hello. Hey, hey, everybody. Thank you, Jean. I am just ecstatic. I'm excited to be here tonight. We welcome all of you all to the table tonight. And I am, this is something that I have prayed for like for that. years. To the table. Welcome to the yeah. table. Welcome to the table. Yeah, we're yeah. putting it all on the table tonight. <laughs> right. So I am just ecstatic. I'm thankful because this is something that I've been praying for for years. And um, Bishop is such a promoter and a pusher of everyone else. So now it's time for us to push him out there to the world. I'm excited about it. I'm glad you all joined us tonight at the table. Yes. There's a lot yeah. happening that's at right. the table. A, a seat at the table. A seat that's at the right. table. That's, that's, right. Right. that's, that's a powerful thing right there, that's having right. a seat at the table. Seat at the table. Yeah. Because when you, you're sitting at the table, you could be sitting outside, but when you're sitting at the table, that is a, a place where you can receive uh, information, where that's you right. fellowship, Intimacy. where you are fed Intimacy. at yeah. the table. Yeah. That's right. That's at right. the table, that's where you're, you're fed. fed. Man, that's, that's, that's where we dine. Most deals are made at the table. At the table. You're at the closing table. At the table. At the closing table. And a lot of things are going to close here. That's yeah. right. um, a lot of things that the enemy has started, mm -hmm. 
and we're going to finish it. That's we're going to close it right at the table. And there are so many people in life that, that really need what we're trying to provide in this particular space. Yes. You know, you, you said something earlier, sweetheart. You said, um, you know, I'm glad that, that we can get Bishop out there. Yes. Um, and, and, you know, I, I thank God for the opportunity. I thank God for the space. Um, but most importantly, I thank God for the opportunity to bring my experiences mm -hmm. to this table. Yeah. Uh, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, yeah. I'll draw all men unto yeah. me. So, you know, the round table ain't, ain't about Don Shelby. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in it, you know, but, but I'm not the it that's in it. Yeah. It's Jesus Christ. Wow. And so he is the center at this table. He is, he is the, um, the centerpiece that makes this table beautiful. And I'm so excited that my friends and family and those in, in Facebook Live can sit at this table with me. Okay. Amen. Yeah. I'm excited about it. And you know what, I've, I've um, you know, we, 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 we hang out quite a bit. Yeah. And I know- Quite a bit. Quite a bit, quite a right? Bit. <laughs> quite a bit. And you, and you know, Dad, like I've seen you excited about a lot of things. You know, church, I mean, Dad will, I mean, you, you don't need no sleep. You'll turn yeah. your plate down. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I mean, and Dad, you get, you get excited about a lot of things. You get excited about the Cowboys. Oh, yes. You know, you, yeah. you, you'll get excited about the finals. You know, if your yeah. team is there, you know, yeah. Yeah. you'll get excited about golf. You know, yeah. there's some things yeah. you get excited about. Yeah. But, Dad, I have seen, like, how much energy this Bishop's Roundtable has given you. Oh, yeah. This means a lot to you. It, it, it's, it, it's given me new life. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's a brand new venture, um, and it is really causing me to just be revitalized. Yes. in my spirit. I'm having the opportunity to share my experiences. I, I made a promise to God. Um, unlike a, a lot of other people, you know, I, I didn't have a whole lot of people pouring into me, you know, just, just telling me a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, many of the things about, that I learned, I learned by way of observation. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that, that's what they told us when we were coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, just keep up, young man, you know, and just look and watch. Mm -hmm. And you can learn a lot by, by observation, yes. you know, but, but I, I promised God, I said, God, if you show me how to pastor, yeah. if you show me and anoint me how to be a father, how to be a husband, if you anoint me and show me how to be a leader to your people, then I'll do for other people mm. what other people did not do for me. That's good. Yeah. And this is that opportunity. Yeah. And, and that's what I'm excited about that's it. Awesome. This, that, that vision, that promise, it is now coming to fruition. And, and again, and I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record, man. I am looking so forward to this round table. Wow. Yes. So this, this is kind of answering the question, what you just said. Um, what is the power of a mentorship experience like this? Mm. It, it, it can change your life. Yeah. Um, it, it can literally push you from being average yeah. to being great. Absolutely. You know, and, and not just any mentor. Now. Sure. Yes. It has to be the right mentor. Right. Yeah. All right. And, and, and a lot of times people tend to think, you know, I, I need somebody to talk to me or I need somebody to talk to. Well, everybody that's permitted to speak to you is not mm -hmm. permitted to speak into you. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and there has to be an anointing. There has to be a synergy. Yeah. There has to be a, a connection between the two. And I believe that God has given me that connection, not for everybody. I understand that. This round table is not for everybody, but this round table is for somebody. Absolutely. And those hundreds and thousands of people that are out there that can benefit from my life experiences, I'm looking forward to sharing. Uh, there was a, uh, a saying, or there is a saying that says, only a foolish person wants to learn by their experiences that's right but a wise person learns by the experiences of others that's right mm. and, that's and right. it takes a person being right. wise if you're a wise person that's right you somebody i tell my children that that's all the right. time that's don't right. do but why why can't i do that because i've already done it and it's nothing that's right you, you know don't, don't you don't, do that. that's right you don't you don't you don't you don't have to get drunk to find out that alcohol is bad exactly right. all right you don't you, you don't have to hit your head on the wall to find out that it hurts exactly. and it'll put a, it'll put a big knot on your head Absolutely. but you can learn from somebody else's experiences Absolutely. and you can grow by that yeah. but the problem with the church is this that we don't like to share our experiences mm -hmm. like to share. all right Tra transparency is the thing that leads to god-given testimonies mm -hmm. all right and and we don't we don't have that mm. you know people um, for whatever reason are 
I'm somewhat reserved to let you know that they weren't a deacon all their lives. Mm -hmm. And they weren't an evangelist all their lives. And we have got to start telling the truth Amen. and share our experiences so we can help somebody. Mm -hmm. now, now, everybody don't have the same testimony. Right. All right, you know, your testimony is not mine, mine's not yours, Lady Shelby's not mine, mm -hmm. Don is not mine, and so forth and so on. You, and you're my son, mm -hmm. but you have some experiences yeah. that you had to go through mm -hmm. yeah. on your own. Yeah. All right, and God brought you through that, but it was through the voice of a father yeah. that you were able to navigate your way Absolutely. through so many of those life oh, yeah. experiences. Man, that's good. That's rich. Mom, mom, you, you, you have a heart for young people. I remember yes. Teen Challenge. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you 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 have a heart for young young people and you're just like everybody's mom. <laughs> oh, so but mom, why is this important? Not just for, you know, uh, you know, middle age or, you know, professional people, but also for young people. Right. Why why well, is the Bishop's what? Round Table important I'm for young glad people you too? Asked that because Bishop and I have a burden for the youth. We cannot afford in this season in this time that we're in to you to lose our youth mm. so someone has to take the responsibility to sure. pour into their lives because understanding the baton has to be passed Absolutely. and we have got to pass it to those that are strong that mm. are ready that sure. are resilient that they're really um ready for what's to come yeah. because what's to come as you had said yeah. is greater the responsibility becomes greater for this next generation to to take it and run with it and sure. i want to make sure personally that's right that whoever follows me or follows this generation that they're prepared and ready so yeah. that we'll all be in good hands mm. if i get old like i used to tell teen challenge yep. when i get you old <laughs> you all put me on some skates, skates and that's take right. me with right. you yes <laughs> take yes. me with you i plan yes. on walking a long time yes. but when it gets to that point yeah Take me with you. Yes. Yeah. And, and in order to do that, they have to be strengthened and love, love yeah. the individual mm, that has right. poured into their life. And that's what Bishop is doing. He's ready to pour, and he does all the time. He pours into our youth. He pours, yes. he is, I told, I told him, and I always say, he has a gift to draw in all ages, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and they want to sit at his feet. Just recently, we were in um, Memphis, and there were so many that were that were coming up to him saying, I need you in my life. I need you to impart some wisdom and stopping us, mm -hmm. going across the street to the convention center saying, Bishop, talk to me, yeah. Bishop, help me. And he took the time to do that. So, mm. You know, I, yeah. I, I've come to find out that people really could care less how well you can preach. Mm. You know, that, 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 that doesn't mean a whole lot. Yeah. A whole As a lot. matter of fact, people don't care how well you preach until they know how much you love. Mm. That's good. You know, that and is true. and that that's really the key for me. That's good. Um, yeah. You know, I'm 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 not the kind of guy that's caught up in a lot of airs. Mm -mm. Um, you know, I'm not heady or headstrong. Mm. Um, you know, I'm I'm comfortable with who I am. Mm. I ain't trying to be nobody else. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm yeah. 57 years old. I, I, all I want to be is Don Shell. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, and, and I'm unapologetically. Don Shelley. That's good. I'm That's sanctified. Good. I'm holy. Yes. Um, and you know, I'm not. I'm just not into a whole whole lot of extra. Mm -hmm. And I believe there's enough of people out there mm -hmm. that that has that same testimony. Yeah. You know, they want to keep it real. Yeah. And you know, they want somebody you know who who cares. Yeah. All right. Not somebody that just has a whole bunch of flowery words and a lot of cliches and. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that, that don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. That don't mean nothing. You know, what really matters is how much do you generally care? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we're not, we're not going to be able to, to touch everybody physically, mm -hmm. you know, but we can touch people with the word of God. That's right. All right. And we can touch people through prayer. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that has really been one of the keys to our life. Yes. It's prayer. Yes. You know, prayer. Prayer is the centerpiece to it all. And as leaders, um, as a pastor, I found out that it's hard to pastor people that you don't pray for. Ooh, mm. You know, you, you can't shepherd what you don't pray for. Wow. Mm. And a lot of people are, are, are just mm. pastoring people, mm. yes. but they're not shepherding oh people. My. Did y'all hear? You know, because you, 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 you have to pray. For who you pass yeah you are giving round table yeah. nuggets, nuggets right, right now oh, yeah. i tell you i tell you what Absolutely. i tell you what done done again 
You know, I, I've been in ministry. I, I got called to ministry when I was 15 years old. 15, mm -hmm. yeah. 15 years old. And the truth of the matter is, I, 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 I really, I, I'm going to take that back. I got called to ministry at 15, but I didn't preach my first sermon mm -hmm. until I was 19. Mm -hmm. All right. And from 19 to what, 57, what's that, third, 48? 48 years. years yeah. I've been in ministry for 48 mm -hmm. years. 48 years. I, right. now if I if I can't share something, something. something. something's yes. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If I if I can't help somebody, mm -hmm. then where have I been all my life? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's, and I enjoyed what what you said about the willingness to share. Yeah. I think you you can't be intimidated to share with someone and to Absolutely. give them your life experience. That's yeah. right. And that's that's the thing I love. There is no intimidation here. That's good, man. No. It's, no. it's just a willingness to pour and yeah. to watch this generation. You said every generation should get, get better. better. That's, That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. Better. That's right. And with, with what you're depositing, every generation now has the opportunity to get, get better. better. Yeah. At least those that come in contact with you and other great leaders, obviously, but um, with you personally, because I know with personal experience mm -hmm. what that means, what, how, the value that comes with having a personal mentoring experience. Oh, yes. yeah. That it is valuable. Yeah. That is priceless. So, you know, mm -hmm. don't spend all your money like taking these classes that you're taking online. I'm not saying don't yeah. do it, but find something that has value and that's going yeah. to be lifelong. What you will learn and what you will get and what you will garner and what you will be imparted by becoming a part of this group it's far more reaching than, yeah. than uh, you know, just your class that you're gonna just take online, master class with whomever, whomever. Mm -hmm. This master class, oh my gosh, is yeah. more than a master class because it's impartation. Yes. When you're done with a master class, yeah. I don't know if you've ever taken one, but when they're done, you're done. You're you, can, done. you can buy the rest of the stuff later on, keep on going like that. But mm -hmm. after a while, that's done. This yeah. is impartation. This is valuable mm -hmm. information. Yeah. This is how to be successful in life. Yeah. In life. So, and, and, and yeah. doing it God's way. And yeah. doing it God's way. And doing it because, in my opinion, real success is, is God's yes. success. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and if it's not success that has been influenced by the Holy Spirit, it ain't real success. then, it's you know, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not. really a distraction. It is. It is. Yeah, that's it's, good. It's, it's a, a distraction. distraction. Yeah. It looks like a door. Mm. But it's a distraction with a door knob. Mm. My God. <laughs> See, again, another That's nugget. another nugget. Another nugget. <laughs> Guys, you're getting this for free. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? Oh, Y'all getting teasers today. Yes, you're getting it. So this, I'm telling you, so much more of this. We're getting ready to move uh, a, a little bit further. Uh, again, this, this, this wonderful bishop and this wonderful couple uh, have amazing children, have an amazing, amazing family. Uh, we're going to introduce uh, that family to uh, and present. Some of you all know this family. Uh, I know this family. I've been knowing them since they were babies. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I'm, I'm auntie. <laughs> yeah. You're a baby six, yourself. Six, six, <laughs> see, this is what I'm saying. This bitch, I'm done. This, see, everybody see, done. She, she about to sign up again. Uh, right. 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 We want you to uh, watch again one more time that video. When we come back, we're going to meet, if you haven't met, but we're going to talk to these amazing Shelby children. It was the Shelby Five, but listen, that quiver is growing. It's growing. Yeah. It's growing. It's the Shelby whole bunch That's of right. people it's now. Bunch, yeah. And it's a great bunch. It's a great, great bunch. You want to know. You want to meet these people. You want to see them. You want to talk to them. You want to get uh, into their world. Be right back with us right after we hear again one more time for this uh, DWS trait. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, everybody. Devoted, committed, passionate, and dedicated. Just a few words to describe the quintessential leader, Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. It's that all things work together for the good. Bishop Shelby is a renaissance man, a forerunner, trailblazer, and trendsetter in his own right. As an apostle of Jesus Christ, he is undoubtedly one that has been sent on a mission by God to pave the way. A doting husband. In your opinion, what's the biggest mistake that most people make before they say, I do? I think before you get married, you ought to put everything mm -hmm. on the tape. Mm -hmm. And so it's best to let everything out before you say I do. 
And if they can marry you with all of your garbage, mm -hmm. then it's, it's going to be okay. Right. A loyal father, a leader's leader, and a preacher's preacher. Bishop Shelby serves as an inspiration to countless lives around the Somebody world. Somebody shout mercy. As a national figure, he's without question a man for all seasons. Consecrated to the office of the bishop in 2016, Bishop Shelby serves as the jurisdictional prelate of the Michigan Southwest 5th Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ. As a mock father in the faith, Bishop Shelby nurtures, trains, and mentors countless spiritual sons and daughters globally. Known for a ministry of power and deliverance, Bishop Shelby's life has been marked with signs, wonders, and miracles. And I'm here to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, I don't care how dark it is, the Lord is with you. And I don't care what you are facing, the Lord is with you. I don't care what is, what is coming up against you, the Lord is with you. But God is God. He can bless who He want to bless. He can use who He want to use. As a man of faith, his eyes are steady set on building the future. He's unquestionably a supernatural creature. The rhetorical proverb asked, But a faithful man who can find? To this, there's a resounding answer. Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. is that My man. My soul cries out, hallelujah! Be sure to follow Bishop Shelby on all social media platforms. For more information, visit us online today at bishopshelby.com. Hey there, everybody. I know, again, you enjoyed that trailer. Again, it's just dropping tidbits of what we're going to be getting uh, as a part of this Bishop's Roundtable. Now, you know, a man that is a good man has to be a ruler, a well, rule well his own house. And so uh, we're looking here at the entire Shelby family yes. and we are so happy to have everybody here we have legend everyone Woo. this is legend, legend where are everybody oh, the youngest of the Say oldest hi, and we got d we got d4 and then we got oh i gotta jump all the way to amber to amber then we got Trenton. then we have drea and we have courtney and we have Don, which comes with diamonds. Yeah. So we are just so excited. These are the Shelby children and grandchildren. Um, say hello, everybody. Hey. hey. <laughs> well, you, and you all know that these kids are, uh, and, I don't, and I say kids because I, like I said, I'm big sister, auntie, you know what I'm saying? But they are super talented, and they're actually nice people. Yeah. I know this uh, firsthand. I know a lot of pastor's kids that, ooh, God bless. God bless. God bless you. People, but they're nice people. They love God. They are kind. They they work in ministry. Every last one of them work in many aspects in ministry. Uh, they have great success. They've only just embarked on success. I'm gonna ask somebody, can I hold some money? Because I know they all got some. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they're they're just amazing. We're just grateful to God. Um, anybody can just chime in. I want to ask uh, a question. Um, how has Bishop's voice? guided you um in your life and help bring out where you're going in your life anybody who's somebody just i mean you know we got people that's doing so many things over here i i, I would pick out one person but everybody got some great stuff happening Hey, don't, don't, don't everybody, everybody answer at the same time. Come on. See, they're so humble. See, look at that. They just they give it. They have the spirit of preferability. <laughs> they're just gonna let. They're gonna prefer everybody. So then I'm just gonna pick out somebody. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Trenton. I knew she was gonna be. <laughs> I knew she was gonna be. You were cute. Yeah, you're, you're the tallest one in the group. That's what happens. Um, yeah, tell us, Trent. I mean, absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you you all who are spiritual sons and daughters absolutely can attest to. Uh, dad's leadership um, but what really sticks out to me is the fact that not only does he lead in church but he really leads at home and he takes time to impart into all of us um, for me specifically um, the way that my father is a shepherd he is a true shepherd he it, the, the ability to nurture the, the ability to groom and grow 
Um, it's even pushed me into mentoring. I've started my own mentoring program right, yeah. and, and different things. Um, and, and it's funny because um, I see myself acting and, and talking to these kids like my dad. Yes, <laughs> and it's yes. funny to me, but um, looking back over my life and, and, and seeing how my father has not only been Superman to me, but also a mentor, um, yeah. he's allowed me to um, make decisions as a, you know, a, a boy growing up into a man. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and understanding that, hey, you know, whatever decision you make, you have to live with that decision. Yeah. And, and so it, it caused me to um, evaluate situations and all of that stuff. And now I'm able to pay that forward to kids and um, plenty of other people that, you know, I, I deal with on a normal basis um, because of the impartation that my father is putting into me. You killed that man. Yeah. 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 You killed that man. And I have to be so articulate. You killed that man. And I also, I also would like to say to uh, mom and dad, but dad, he's definitely. I can say that dad is also a visionary with us as well. Yeah. He also yeah. sees the best in us when we don't see the Very see much it so. as well. So, yeah. like I, I, a prime example, um, um, first year teaching in the education system. I, did, I used to doubt myself a lot. My dad used to always pull on me. He used to tell me, even before I became a teacher, you're going to be the teacher. You're going to be a principal one day. He used That's to right. speak those things into existence. And at times when I used to doubt myself or fear and let fear rise in me, dad will call out the, the future me and see yeah. and prophesy over my life. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate the prophetic gift that my father has given has, it, uh, exuberated into my life yeah. and it has shown by what I'm doing right now everything yeah. that my dad has prophesied and my mom has prophesied over my life has come to pass that I can yeah. attribute a lot of my yeah. success success mm -hmm. to my parents Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Courtney. That, was, that was awesome and not only that uh, Courtney is becoming one of my favorite female speakers also oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, she is a bad girl and listen listen now I don't hand that baton out like real just <laughs> rather you, 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 I know Okay, but she is, she, she is, she's, listen, he's bringing up, I mean, his offspring is coming, and you know, Don is already my, you know, under 35, he, he it, he's it, he it, he, 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 he can, but he can do all of that, so, you know. That, don't, don't, don't sleep on Trent. Oh, no, Trent is coming through. He's coming up. Trent is coming now, now, he been, now, now, he been running, he can't run forever. He can't run. All right, he can't run, 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 he can't in the country, in the country, in the country. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. This dude, this dude be preaching in the shop, in the shop. preaching in, in the living room. Ain't, when, when ain't nobody at home, it's holy convocation. <laughs> Well, I, I know one thing. He is an amazing worship leader, uh, one of my favorites. And again, I, I, do I sound partial? Do I sound biased? I probably am a little bit, but honestly, I'm not because they do know this. What was the swat? I will not say nothing. Yes, right. You tell the truth. I just won't yes, say nothing. I'll just be truth. like, oh, God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, if I say that, it, that's what I feel. I feel in my gut. And I'm so grateful uh, just at, at such great success uh, with these uh, young people and with these. Uh, with. And, but I will say this. You know, a lot of people are like, well, those his kids. He's going to definitely just be, you know, he's going to be for them. No, it's yes, not man. just for them. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm so many times in my own life, and then I've That's seen true. people that he has spoken things into, and let me just be honest, I was like, mm-mm, they not that bishop. <laughs> they not going to be great. <laughs> just, I, but this is me, okay? I'm not the bishop, and I don't have the foresight as the man on the mountain. You know what I'm saying? He on the wall. He's the watchman on the wall. I'm not on the wall. Yeah. I was down low saying, no, that's not going to happen. But it did. Yeah. And surprisingly, he would speak things and make even me make me do things that I'm like, I cannot do this. Right. I cannot do this. How am I supposed yeah. to do this? Go home crying like, how am I supposed to make this happen? <laughs> But I would end up making yeah. it happen yeah. because he saw something in me and he spoke to that thing that he saw yeah. even when that thing was sleeping in me. So yeah. you want that thing that's sleeping in you, the thing that you think that you can't make happen, 
You want it to happen. You need somebody to speak into your life to give you the courage, because I know we need courage a lot of times to do those things, and if we lack courage, we don't make the move. But he helps to give us courage, helps to uh, speak uh, those things that we're not. I'm looking at uh, Dr. Diamond uh, Shelby here, and even uh, with her, I remember uh, before she married Don, uh, even as she was going through uh, medical school, and, and, and she had some moments where she had some doubts. Why don't you tell yeah. us a little bit about that? Definitely. Um, Bishop or dad and mom first lady have been pillars in my medical journey. It's, yeah. it's so uh, you know, just going to medical school, Super going to residency, proud. becoming Super a doctor. Proud. It's a very long route and it can be very tough. And they've definitely just been very supportive. Um, I know I couldn't have done it without all of the prayers. They've just always been readily accessible and available, you know, anything I needed. And I'm so appreciative of that. But even even aside from that, aside from school and everything, um, I joined the ministry when I was in college. But one of the things that really drew me to the ministry was the seriousness that my leaders, you know, uh, the seriousness of their relationship with God. Like, that's not something that they joke with or play with. Right. I can tell that it was a real thing, a genuine thing. And that was what was so important to me. And um, I feel like it's just helpful for anybody to be able to have role models to see that no matter what profession you're in, no matter what circle you're in, no matter where you are, yes. like that's yeah. something that should always be the forefront oh, yeah. Yeah, and the yes. pillar. And you should never be afraid to stand up yeah. and shine your light. And people um, should know that you're a Christian, that yeah. you serve yes. God, that, that, that that's your identity. Yeah. 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 That's that. That's my beautiful daughter. Yes, she is. She's coming through. Amen. She's coming through. Amen. 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 Don, 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 yeah. Don was, was so anointed. Um, he didn't bring copper to our family. Uh, he didn't bring uh, sterling and silver on, to our family. On, Don yeah. brought some diamonds. Yeah. Yes, 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 Amen yes, to the yes, Shelby family. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, I tell you, it is uh, just, uh, like I said, just amazing. Uh, these uh, young people, uh, we haven't heard from Andrea. We got to hear something from Andrea because uh, Andrea is... Uh, from what I know, like when Bishop would say, let's go get something to eat. Drea is the person, at least for a while, was the person that was yeah. going to get something to eat. Might be Amber now, though. Yeah, it might be Amber now, but I'm the twin, so. That's the twin. That's the twin. That's the twin. That's the twin. Uh, well, they're, oh, they're twins, twins, so, yeah. you know, yeah. most, sometimes Triplets. I'm looking at them Triplets. and I can't even tell Drea from right. Amber. Oh, and I held oh, Amber as a baby, so, oh, you know. Yeah. But, but, Andrea, why don't you tell us a little bit of oh, wow. how, and you're getting ready to embark upon a journey. Oh, I guess D4 was telling about his portion, yes, but right. we're going to table your portion look right now before we go. God bless, bless you. you. Bless and we're going to let Drea talk right now. Uh, you're getting ready to embark on a journey uh, and you're going to be a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. So tell me about though how, and, and you know what, and I'm going to say this because I heard Bishop praying for you last night. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything that he said, it was just so true and it was just, uh, just so blessed. Uh, tell me about though, just you making this transition in your life, how uh, Bishop as your dad and as your bishop. Uh, has helped you uh, help to step on into the next. Wow. So my dad has always been my representation of God's love here on earth for me. Uh -huh. And but when I see my dad and when he speaks to me, it's, it's God's representation of how he feels about me. And so even when um, considering marrying anybody or dating anybody, I was looking for someone that was just like my dad. Yeah. Someone that loved me, respected me, <coughs> spoiled me, <laughs> um, spoke life into me. And so my dad is a great example of a father, a great example yes. of God's love, a great example yes. of a shepherd. And so my dad is a praying man as well. And yeah. he covers his family, he covers yeah. me. And I know no matter where I go, my dad is gonna be there for me. And yeah. so. Dad, I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you for the example that you are to me, the example that you are to the world. And I know that so many people can benefit yeah. from just being in your presence. Mm. Even, if, even if it's virtually or in person, physically, you are so needed yes. in this uh, world. Yes. And I appreciate the anointing that's on your life. And I love you so much. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get some Kleenex. I man. know, because this one here is taking me out. Yeah, taking us out. Last, yeah. last but not least, yes. you have the baby girl, Amber, who has, uh, you know, she's a rising star within ministry. Uh, she's Thank running you. things. I look at Amber <laughs> oftentimes, and she's doing things that I used to do. And I'm like, ooh. 
Go ahead, Amber. <laughs> Go ahead. I am pushing her because she just kind of overnight yeah. just became this woman, this administrator, mm -hmm. uh, this businesswoman, this yeah. person that is right there underneath and right by her parents making things happen in the ministry. Like, who does not want that? What what right. parent does not want right. to see uh, mm -hmm. their children helping to uh, carry on the legacy? You know what I'm saying? So Amber, mm -hmm. just say a few words about how it is to work for your dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I got the question asked last week, you know, why, how are you all still in ministry? You know, all these years later and, you know, we're his children, but yet we still have a heart to serve in ministry with our parents. And my answer was, I watched God's example, an example of godly leadership. And that's why today, even at 23 years old, I can serve with a pure heart because I have parents that served pure, served God's people with a pure heart. That's and good. so that's been my example. And that continues to be my example every day. The fact that I live with you all, I have watched you all be integral. I've watched you all love people in spite of, mm -hmm. And that's been my example in ministry. It's been my example with everything concerning my life. Um, I thank God every day that I have you all as parents. I have you all as examples, not only as my parents, but as my spiritual parents as well. Not everyone has that testimony. So I love you all and I appreciate you for everything so, you are. As you can see, I'm a blessed man. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not blessed because of uh, the house I live in, the car I drive, the clothes I wear. I'm blessed because of the family that God has given me. Yeah. And when you talk about Don Shelby, mm. this is who Don Shelby really yes, is. Yeah. And these are the type of things that, that I want to bring to the table. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Well, yeah. I, I want to talk to pastors who, who struggle trying to find a place mm -hmm. and a space for their children yeah. in their own ministry. Yes. Because oftentimes, these are the members that are most misunderstood. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I want to talk to just parents, not just yeah. pastor, yeah. just parents. Yeah. Yes. Lady Shelby and I, I'm, I mean, the real, the real Wonder Woman, yes. you know, about raising a saved family mm -hmm. yeah. in church yeah. who love God. And, you know, my children are all grown. They're grown. Yeah. They're grown. And none of them are made to go no, to Burning Bush. Not at all. None That's of right. them. Yeah. They choose, they choose to go to burning bush. Now, the question is, what did we do? Yeah. You know, what, what did we do? What, what did we do? How, how did we raise them mm -hmm. so that they would love the church just as much as their mom and I love the church that we pastor? Mm -hmm. Because most pastors' kids, when they grow up, they, they, they hate they their, their, their church. father's church. That's right. yeah. Okay, yeah. now, you know, I want I want I want to talk to to leaders yes. about that. I want I want I want these children and, and to come and sit down yes. at the table with me. Yes. And talk to your children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And talk to your family. Yeah. You know, and 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 let's have some 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 dialogue yeah. Yeah. at the table. Yeah. If you want to be transformed and you want to be changed, this is the table for you. Go to bishopshelby.com and register today. We'll be giving you more instructions on that. They're in the chat, and so you want to avail yourselves to that. But right now, we're going to an amazing segment with one of Bishop's dearest friends, and that is none other than the singingest preacher on the planet, <laughs> the one and only Bishop Neil Roberson. Bishop, we're Bishop, glad to have Bishop. you, sir. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. I'm honored. Yes, sir. I'm yes, honored. sir. Well, I have a question, uh, Bishop, to you as well as to Bishop Roberson. What is the power of mentorship for a son? And how can a son's life, and that's not gender specific. When we say sons, that's we're right. just talking about men and women that are submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. But how can mentorship transform one that identifies with that sonship? Amen. Well, you mentioned a story about Elijah and Elisha. Um, and Elisha, you know, he, he had his own character flaw. Um, but it was his connection to Elijah um, that caused him to seek after a double portion. Yes, sir. And, and you notice that that, that that double portion was released unto Elisha when he got close enough. That proximity was the thing that caused the double portion to come in his life. And so that, that mentorship, that sonship, it's all connected to, to proximity. Um, because a son, a son, 
has to be willing to go after a father. But then a father has to be willing to open up his heart for a son. Yes, All right, and that, that's a synergy, that's a connection between the two and oftentimes um, you don't see it because of the unwillingness to get close. And, and one, one of the problems with proximity is proximity, um, it, it reveals stuff about us um, that you normally could not see from afar off. Wow. All right, and a father cannot truly be a father unless he allows his son to get close yeah, enough so that he can see some of his flaws. But then a son has to be close enough so that he can cover his father right. as opposed to expose his father. And so there, there's a, a, a level of trust that goes back and forth between the two. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Bishop, I'll let you speak to that. You know, fathers are, you know, I'm a father, a biological father. I had a great father, biological father. I had sons. One of the amazing things I discovered that sons pick up things about their father. They pick up the bad and they pick up the good. That's right. And uh, fathers have to be willing to be transparent enough with their sons. That's right. In order to, but if he, but he, if he keep them at a bay, at a distance, That's right. they never get a chance to become all that God has really called them to be as sons. That's right. The other thing is, is when we don't, we don't, when we don't zero in to a father and keep picking up fathers, we keep picking up spirits as well. Come on. You pick up spirits from now, 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 I like that point. You say, when we keep picking up fathers. That's right. Because some people shop for fathers. Absolutely. Like they do for clothes. Absolutely. All right, and, and so they have 10 and 12 different mm -hmm. fathers mm -hmm. and 20 different mothers. That's right. You know, that, you might, you might have that many teachers. That's right. The Bible says you might have tens of thousands of instructors. That's right. But not many not fathers. Many, not many fathers. Not many fathers. Yeah, and, and that becomes devastating because you pick up, not only do you pick up the good things, but you pick up the tragedies of fathers. Um, um, I, I knew a, 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 a pastor, I knew a certain pastor from years ago who uh, had some problem, problems in his marriage and it ended up destroying his church. Sure. Well, the father he had picked up previously had some problems with his wife and it destroyed his church. And so you start picking up these, but when you connect with someone who has really, really zeroed in on what God has called him to do and has committed himself in spite of flaws and difficulties that come with marriage, and you really, really zero into somebody who loves their wife, who loves their children, who love their family, love their grandchildren. Let me tell you something, you don't need to bypass that. You don't, you, don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to bypass that. I have a father that birthed me in the ministry, and I understand that Bishop Shelby has been, and my wife will tell you, my wife is here, she can tell you how I feel about Bishop Shelby. Bishop Shelby has been um, a father, a mentor, a friend, a brother, in the time that I needed it the most. You know, it's not, he's not just a farewell father or a farewell friend or just somebody who uses this platform because I know a lot of guys who, who use their platform to draw guys to them. That's right. Well, you don't use this platform. And he, had, and he has a huge platform, but he does not use this platform uh, to, pull, to pull men like myself and Alvernus Johnson into where he is with his lifestyle. Yes. The way he lived. He don't just talk it, but he live it. His children are not fronting when they say what they say. Yes, sir. These are not gimmicks or games or trying to build a round table to get you to connect with the round table. No, this is real That's life. Right. This, is, this is for real. This is a man after God's heart. He, the, Elisha literally, when the mantle was thrown on him by his father, he burned the plow. Yes, he did. And, 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 kill the, and, and kill the ox. That's right. Because he didn't want to go back to where he was. He had found what he needed, and the anointing that was in that man, he said, this is what I've been looking for. Mm -hmm. This is where I've been going. And the anointing from that man of God was transferred. And people oftentimes say that he asked God, he asked that man for his anointing, but he didn't. That's he right. asked for his spirit. That's what he asked for. That's right. He asked for that man's spirit. That's right. If I, can, if I, I, I want this man's That's spirit. Right. That's right. His anointing... If I get a spirit, the anointing gonna come with the package. Mm -hmm. But if I if I if I neglect such a great thing as his spirit, his spirit to love people, come his on. spirit to care about people, genuinely love them. Not I tell people at our church, I says I don't want you to come here because I miss your tithe. Hmm. I want you to come here because I miss you. Come on, 
I'm not worried about your tithe, your offering. I, want you, I don't want you to stay home at the, during the pastor's anniversary time. You don't have the money, so you stay back. No, 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 no. No, I need you here because I miss you physically. I miss your personal. I want you to be here so I can love you the way you're supposed to be wow. loved. And so people have underlying depressions and all these things. And when you connect with the right father, yes, connect yeah. with the right person, the right... Uh, and I tell people, I said, Bishop Shelby is not just a good preacher. Bishop Don Shelby is a good man. Yes. And we're missing that in our pulpits today. Thank good you. men, you know, just men who love their wives, who love their families, who love their children. Good men. And that's what God is calling for in these days. This round table is round for real. <laughs> and this is a real round table yeah. that deals with real round issues yes. that, we're, that we're dealing with. There are some pastors that are watching me right now. And you look at me on the screen, and there's some of you going to view this later, and you know you got some issues, some hang-ups, some things that are going on in your life. And I want you to know, don't worry about it. It's okay. God's going to work it out. That's why for such a time as now, God positioned and placed these people and these things in place just for you right now. I need you to hold on. This is a great man. This is a good time. Thank you. Bishop, okay. I just want to chime in on what you said there because... You, you threw out some nuggets. That was some serious stuff. I've heard the both of you go back and forth uh, discussing sonship, mm -hmm. and the revelation is powerful. That's one of the dynamics of this roundtable is the bishop's circle. You can tell the quality of a person by the people that they are surrounded with, mm -hmm. and bishop has, he got a full supply of solid men of mm -hmm. God and women of God in his life mm -hmm. uh, that are trusted leaders in the body of Christ. And in my career, I had the opportunity to travel uh, the length and breadth of this country, mm -hmm. sometimes four and five weeks being uh, on the road in a different church every night. Amen. And when I met Bishop Shelby, I was in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It was on accident. <laughs> and uh, he said, man, you should come by the church. So I said, yeah, I'll come on by. And I went to the church and I said, man, this is too good to be true. Right, right. <laughs> and so because I seen so much, you know, I was expecting to, you know, be disappointed. But I kept being, you know, impressed. So I'm like, well, what kind of man is this? And the things that impressed me with what you just said, it was the kind of father he was. Mm -hmm. I saw the, uh, the accountability and the respect that his sons had for mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. the way he cared for his daughters, and the way he loved his wife. Yeah, yeah. Those were the things that sold me on Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. And as I got closer, I became just amazed at the integrity that he has been able to maintain these 57 years in ministry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is something that you do not see often. This is not something that can be bought. Uh, mm -hmm. We're giving you an opportunity to invest in something that is real. Amen. And there's a lot of mantles out there, but there are mantles that are tainted. And when you get that mantle, you get a lot of extra stuff as Bishop mentioned, but I can guarantee you that this mantle here is authentic and it has the power to trans transform and change your life. Uh, with that, we are going to transition to our amazing, amazing, amazing trailer. And we wanna play this again for you. Bishop is extremely humble and extremely modest, mm -hmm. but he's a bad man. Yeah, yeah. And so we want you <laughs> yeah. to see a little bit of that. Check him out. Dex, before we, oh, go, before we go to the before trailer. Before we go there, I just, I just wanna publicly say I'm on this feed. Now, you know, I'm, I'm not it. I'm just a part of it. All right, I'm just a part of it because it's so many people that's in my life that has helped to make my life what it is. And, you know, I thank you, you know, for being a part of this vision. Um, God gave me this vision some time ago. And then I spoke about it at the beginning of the year, this Bishop's Roundtable. You heard it, and you begin to run with this vision, man. Um, and this is one of my spiritual sons. Mm -hmm. I met him at a restaurant, um, and you know, and we we didn't. I, I I never knew him. I don't know if he probably seen me or heard about me, but I I didn't know him. But when I met him, you know, God just connected our lives together, um, even though we didn't know one another. The same way it was with Elisha and Elijah. Um, Elisha actually left his biological father sure to follow after his spiritual father. Mm -hmm. And Elisha knew nothing about being a prophet. You know, he, he worked in the father's business. Wow. You know, he worked in the field. He was a man of agriculture. Okay. But, but when he came in contact with an anointing, 
It pulled his destiny out of his wow. life. And I thank God for you. I praise God for you, man. And so I just wanted to say that publicly. Thank God for you and for my family. Yes, um, Shelby Five, all of them, Don and Sister Watts, and um, everybody, everybody that's here tonight. This, this room, you only see a few of us on, yes, on this live. Yes, but this room is full of people. That's right. right. Full of people, amen, that has helped to make this mm -hmm. event what it is. Thank you. God bless you. I just, I just wanted to put that out there. Bishop, before you go, I, I want to say this. You know, when you, you know, Elisha, Elisha, this keeps coming up. Yes. And what's amazing is in, in 2 Kings, the one particular script in chapter number 6, when they, when they, when they had outgrew, <laughs> when they had outgrew the place, wow. the, the, the young prophets came to the master prophet and said to him, said, sir, the place that we're in is too small. That's right. Can we build something bigger? Mm. And he said, go. And when he said go, the, the young prophet turns around and looks at the prophet and says to him, sir, I'll go, but will you go with us? That's right. And he said, I'll go with you. In that transition of going with them, some, some things happened. That's right. Some things happened. That young prophet misplaced the anointing. He misplaced the anointing while building. Yes. I'm going to prove it to you. Because while they were cutting down trees, he lost the axe head. Lost, that's right. The axe head was the ability to get the job done. Come on, come he on. He lost the ability to get the job done. Mm. He lost it. Now watch now. We never lose our anointing like that. That axe head had to loosen up before it fell off. Come on. How many times have you watching me have loosened up the anointing God previously gave you, loosen up before you lost it? Mm. But you pay no attention. But it took spiritual integrity for the young prophet to come to the prophet and say to him, I lost what I had. Mm. And then the prophet that was with them looked at him and said, where did you lose it at? Where did you lose it? He had to take them back to the place where he lost it at. Come on. Having a father is the ability to have a sense of accountability to come back and say, Pastor, I've lost the thing that I once had. There's a preacher watching me, and you've lost something that you once had. It's not far away, but you need somebody like Bishop Shelby to help you locate what you lost. When he located it, he said, it fell in right there. And he told him, he said, take a tree, take a tree from the previous branch that you cut down when you had the anointing. And he says, and put it in the water. Put it in the water. Stick when he put it in the water, the anointing surface. Watch this. I said, God, what does that mean to drop this branch in the water and this axe head to surface? He said to me this. He says to him, if you're going to find your way back to the anointing you had, you're going to have to go back to the tree. It was at the tree. We sang it at the cross, at the cross, <laughs> where I first saw the light and the burden. But it takes somebody like a leader to lead you back to the cross and not to himself. Come on, preacher. Wow. He took him back to the cross. I don't know who you are. I, I keep feeling this unction in my spirit that you are watching and you've lost something as precious as your anointing. And I want you to know making this connection is going to help you to regain Amen. what you've lost. It's your season. Amen. Amen. You all have heard it. <laughs> this is the quality of ministry and the quality of leadership and the quality of development and discipleship that you will receive by joining and being a part of the Bishop's Roundtable. Don't delay, don't wait. Go to bishopshelby.com right now, slash roundtable and register. You can click there on the menu button, click on roundtable, and you know what to do. Just fill that information out and we'll be in touch with you. The invitation is going out at midnight tonight and you don't want to miss it. Check out this trailer, and we'll be right back. Devoted, committed, passionate, and dedicated. Just a few words to describe the quintessential leader, Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. It's that all things work together for the good. Bishop Shelby is a renaissance man, a forerunner, trailblazer and trendsetter in his own right. As an apostle of Jesus Christ, he is undoubtedly one that has been sent on a mission by God to pave the way. A doting husband. In your opinion, what's the biggest mistake that most people make before they say, I do? I think before you get married, you ought to put everything mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. And so it's best to let everything out before you say, I do. And if they can marry you with all of your garbage, mm -hmm. then it's, it's going to be okay. Right. A loyal father, a leader's leader, and a preacher's preacher. 
Bishop Shelby serves as an inspiration to countless lives around the world. Somebody shout mercy. As a national figure, he is without question a man for all seasons. Consecrated to the office of the bishop in 2016, Bishop Shelby serves as the jurisdictional prelate of the Michigan Southwest 5th Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ. As a mock father in the faith, Bishop Shelby nurtures, trains, and mentors countless spiritual sons and daughters globally. Known for a ministry of power and deliverance, Bishop Shelby's life has been marked with signs, wonders, and miracles. And I'm here to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, I don't care how dark it is, the Lord is with you. And I don't care what you are facing, the Lord is with you. I don't care what is, what is coming up against you, the Lord is with you. But God is God. He can bless who he want to bless. He can use who he want to use. As a man of faith, his eyes are steady set on building the future. He's unquestionably a supernatural preacher. The rhetorical proverb asked, But a faithful man who can find? To this, there's a resounding answer. Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. is that My man. My soul cries out, hallelujah! Be sure to follow Bishop Shelby on all social media platforms. For more information, visit us online today at bishopshelby.com. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. We are grateful to be here uh, with you. My name is Sister Ebony Graham, and I am a member of Burning Bush International Ministries. And it is actually my privilege, my pleasure, my honor to uh, invite you to join the roundtable. And if I were to think of why mm -hmm. I would want to encourage others to join, there are three things that I three words that I would use to describe uh, Bishop Don W. Shelby. And the first is that he is accessible. Um, I've heard that yeah. testimony repeated over and over again, but someone that is in his position and a man of God to be accessible and make himself, avail himself to others right. is what is really, really appealing. Yeah. Um, and as a mother, it's appealing even that my Generation Z daughter who actually speaks a different language yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> can testify every Sunday that Bishop has said a word that speaks to her heart. Wow. And the second word that I would think of is that Bishop is authentic. Yes, you yeah. know, you heard today that he has been in ministry for decades and you can't do that without being real That's true. the scripture says that you god will give you pastors after his own heart that they would give you knowledge and we know that bishop shelby is real he is authentic i was uh standing in line um elder sullivan at uh during the doing tithes mm -hmm. uh, a couple of sundays ago and bishop was up and he was ministering this young lady was sitting next to her mother and she said mommy i didn't know that he was real i've seen him on tv and i turned to her and i said yes sweetheart he's real, he's real. and we know that god is real and that he is a man of god and the yeah. last thing that i would say to encourage those of you that are interested in getting close to the man of god getting go close to god at this time in your life is that he is anointed yeah i have said before that bishop is anointed appointed and ignited by god this is the church where the fire never burns mm. out but there's a reason that it doesn't burn out because god put that anointing on his life Hallelujah. and without bishop is the heat and first lady is the fuel you came to have <laughs> one without the other and right. we are here as i've already said this before in my testimony previously as a new member we're the oxygen we're the ones that keep the fire going and we're encouraging you to join us in keeping the fire going Go, yes, join absolutely. us this is something you know when you I've heard Elder Reese say when you go to a fine dining restaurant, you want to tell people about the experience. Yeah. But you also want them to feel it. You want them to experience it for themselves so that they can tell others. Yes. And absolutely. this is the opportunity for his ministry to reach out. And that's what we're here to do. So I, I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah. I know that um, yeah. my, my fellow brothers and sisters are excited to be a part of it, oh, too. And we encourage yeah. you to yes. join us tonight. Yeah, very, very well said. I, I'm telling you. Yeah. What she's talking about. You want it, okay? Yes. So let, uh, $25. That's 20, it. Mm -hmm. $25 buys you 
right now. I mean, that's only four and a half tanks a game. That's not, not even. <laughs> I, said, I mean, no, I, I have to put a premium in my gas. Put premium in my car, so that's like two, almost two gallons, I mean, yeah. gallons of gas a yeah, minute. Yeah, right. two gallons. All right, fix <laughs> you know it. What, what else so, $25 get you, man? That might get lunch. Yeah. Might. At like a fast food joint, though. Right. It is. But not, yeah. with a, not with a beverage. No, no, no. Not with a Coke. $25 might get you a shirt at Target. Maybe. 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 Yeah. Maybe. Hey, that's a t-shirt we talk. Yeah. The role of a pastor's wife. Yeah. Sex, uh, sexual integrity in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. How wait, to wait, handle there's more. We got more. more. I mean, yes. I, I mean, these are all the topics we're gonna cover. Yes. My God. Order in the house. Mm -hmm. The church and politics. What role should the church play? Yes. What would Jesus Relevant. say today? Yeah. Dex. Make it plain, so bro. Much. I'm, I'm, I'm so just much. reading random. I mean, so we got much. so many topics. Yes. And that's that's in his heart mm -hmm. for the people of God yes. to be equipped for this decade, that's for this right. time. Yeah. Things are changing rapidly. Yes. Yeah. And you need that impartation and that knowledge. You need that edge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Bishop has the it factor that's going to push right. you and give you that edge. I want to just acknowledge a few of the people that have signed up tonight. Pastor Whitmore, uh, Cheryl McCoy, right. Bernard yeah, Jackson, uh, our own supervisor, Kathleen Rainey, uh, Carmen Jackson, Latrina Thomas, Dorothy Howell, Barbara Putman, Harrison right. Lamont, April Badon, Elder you. Kevin Reese, yes. si Sister Judy McGee, Elder James McGee, yes. uh, our own Sister Hazelette Crosby, Robin Burr, Cornell Barnes, Barbara Come Rose on. Collins, the list goes yes. on and yes. on and on. Uh, so many of you that have linked in tonight, hey, man, we want to see you yeah. Yeah, in yeah. the morning. Come on, yeah, in the morning. Man. Is your name on that list? Oh, That's what you're going to ask yourself. $25. Name, is, your, yes. is your name written oh, on this Bishop yes. Roundtable list? Yes. All right, $25 yes. a month. We meeting tomorrow at yes. 10 a.m. All right, let's bring back the man of the hour. Yes. Yes. All right, Amen. Our, our, bishop. our bishop. We need our bishop back. We need our bishop back. We're ready to bring our bishop. We're ready to bring him back. People are pulling on him everywhere in the studio audience. I feel like we're on the telethon sort because we just got so much excitement going on. Oh, but it is good. It's yeah. all good. We're going to our bishop and our first, first lady. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yes. All right. Yes. We're going to relinquish and let them have the stage, y'all. Bishop's round table. Amen. 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 How many minutes do we have? Just it's me. Amen. Well, we, we won't be long, um, but, but we will be strong um, because we want you to know that all of this was set up for what's going to begin tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Now, now you heard from my biological sons and daughters. And then just a few moments ago, you heard from my spiritual sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you'll find leaders like Lady Shelby and myself, whose heart is big enough for their biological children, right. but it's not large enough for their spiritual children. But then you find leaders who have hearts that are big enough for their spiritual children, but, but not intimate enough for their biological children. Yeah. We want to kind of help to teach and show you how to prioritize and how to distinguish between the first house and the second house. And this round table, this round table is so important. Um, I, I feel led, a call on my life to do what I'm doing. I'm not just doing it um, to build DWS. No. I'm doing it to build JESUS. Yes. And I want you to connect to this because the round table is going to have a lot of people that will have to come in at different times. But, but one thing about Bishop Don W. Shelby, I'm not into star power. All right, so it might not be names that you are familiar with always. I'm not in the star power. I'm, I'm not the guy that drops names, okay? That's not who I am, and I know a lot of people. But I'm just not that kind of guy. I'm more into God's power than star power. And so I want to invite you to, to become a part of the Bishop's Roundtable. And listen, you don't have to be Church of God in Christ. You don't have to be a member of Michigan Southwest Fifth Jurisdiction. All you have to do is be somebody that's looking for someone. And I pray that I am that someone that you're looking for in Jesus' name. Sweetheart. Yes, and we want to encourage you to move quickly. Also, honey, I want to mention that you don't have to, if you don't want to pay per month and you just want to pay for the entire year, we welcome you to do that as well. Some of you might like 
the convenience of just wiping it all out with one payment and then you'll be uh, you know you won't have to worry about the monthly but so we want to offer that to you as well there's going to be valuable information I can't wait this is a dream come true for me as well I've been waiting on this and you all stay tuned because there are some exciting things happening for DWS Ministries, and I'm a part on board 110%. You go, you go, you go sit at the round table with I'm me? I'm sitting at the round table. When he wants me at the table, I'm going to be at oh, the table. Oh, 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 if it's, if it's a table I'm sitting at, you automatically got a seat at that table. Oh, I want to be at it too. I want to be wherever he is. Amen. I God bless God. you all. You. Um, we're we're going to sign off now. We have not ran out of words. We just ran out of time tonight. Um, but we look forward to meeting you in a very intimate, private space. Meet me at the table. God bless you. God bless. Devoted, committed, passionate, and dedicated. Just a few words to describe the quintessential leader, Bishop Don W. Shelby, Jr. That all things work together for the good. Bishop Shelby is a renaissance man, a forerunner, trailblazer, and trendsetter in his own right. As an apostle of Jesus Christ, he is undoubtedly one that has been sent on a mission by God to pave the way. A doting husband. In your opinion, what's the biggest mistake that most people make before they say, I do? I think before you get married, you ought to put everything mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. And so it's best to let everything out before you say I do. And if they can marry you with all of your garbage, mm -hmm. then it's, it's going to be okay. Right. A loyal father, a leader's leader, and a preacher's preacher. Bishop Shelby serves as an inspiration to countless lives around the Somebody world. Somebody shout mercy. As a national yes, figure, he is without question a man for all seasons. Consecrated to the office of the bishop in 2016, Bishop Shelby serves as the jurisdictional prelate of the Michigan Southwest Fifth Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ. As a monk father in the faith, Bishop Shelby nurtures, trains, and mentors countless spiritual sons and daughters globally. Known for a ministry of power and deliverance, Bishop Shelby's life has been marked with signs, wonders, and miracles. And I'm here to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, I don't care how dark it is, the Lord is with you. And I don't care what you are facing, the Lord is with you. I don't care what is, what is coming up against you, the Lord is with you. But God is God. He can bless who He want to bless. He can use who He want to use. As a man of faith, his eyes are steady set on building the future. He's unquestionably a supernatural preacher. The rhetorical proverb asked, But a faithful man who can find? To this, there's a resounding answer. Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. is that My man. My soul cries out, hallelujah! Be sure to follow Bishop Shelby on all social media platforms. For more information, visit us online today at bishopshelby.com.